Out of the gate. Can all of you hear us? Can everybody hear us, please? Can everybody hear us? We have we sound. We really need to know. <laughs> we have sound. We have we sound. Have. Okay. Is it working? <laughs> so, uh, fun story. We just streamed for like a solid 45 minutes, and apparently none of you could hear us, which is awkward. Um, so the TLDH, too long, didn't hear. Uh, <laughs> I see that. <laughs> yes. um, Don't encourage her. <laughs> they, yeah, no, encourage me. Uh, so the TLDH was uh, Bavidius continued to have his little meltdown. I did some stupid shit as a patch of grass that he was sitting on. Um, we told you that the more you comment, uh, we will mail you tater tots for every individual yes. comment that you make. Um, we saw 10 minutes on tater tots. It was a totally a 10 minute. Yeah, it was a 10 minute tater tot yeah. conversation, which none of you got to hear. That was our opening material. Or, or fortunately, Whichever, I guess, floats your boat. Um, then Bavidius apologized to Stu. Um, Stu made sure that he apologized to Patricia, his potato. We then said um, that all of you need to tell us whether or not you want me to DM an entire session as Patricia the potato, because we need to know pertinent information like that. They decided to rest. Uh, Domino had no issues with his watch. Uh, he saw an owl. That's about it. Um... But then when Embaro's turn came along, he uh, rolled kind of low, so he got infatuated, not infatuated, but like definitely distracted. No, by he was in love with that Infatuated, beetle. okay, yeah. So he found an iridescent beetle, fed it some rations, uh, realized that he was not fucking paying attention to anything that was going on around him. Um, I suggested that we name the beetle Needle because uh, he's a neat beetle. Yeah, I repeated it so that everybody could hear it because it was a good fucking pun. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> and he had just finished his watch. Um, realizing that he had spent three hours uh, just paying attention to a fucking beetle, and, which is At least we pretty... know Needle does not have scurvy. <laughs> needle does not have scurvy, no. Um, and he had just woken up Bavidius and uh, Barenthazara for their watch. Yep. You know what? You want to know what else I learned? We do a lot of, like, elaboration on silly, goofy stuff, and it's Maybe. great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we, we do that a, super quick. A, t a TLDH should be like, oh, we talk about a lot of, we talk about a lot of dumb stuff, don't we? <laughs> Maybe I should Most get Steve in here. Steve the Steve the Tangent Squirrel. He will start making an appearance. <laughs> oh, the squirrel's name is Steve, not <laughs> Squirrel. It's weird. Yeah. Anyways, Squirrel. <clears throat> uh, so, uh, Barantha's arm, Bavidius, you have just been awoken for your watch. <laughs> All right. Come, brother. Alright. Uh, so what did we agree on? Are we both rolling uh both rolling one check? Or... I rolled a fifteen. Okay, he rolled a fifteen. That'll work. Uh so you spend the uh the majority of your watch um just kind of sitting around the campfire. Um making sure to still take uh, cursory glances outside of the the ring of light that is thrown by the flickering campfire that you occasionally have to add logs to. Um, but as you guys spend the majority of the time, um, you may or may not see a great horned owl that was maybe, or maybe not staring at Domino previously, but you have no idea of knowing that. No way of knowing that. Um, and your watch kind of just passes with an incident, so... You are free to converse if you choose to. If not, so what have you been up to all these years? Too much and not enough. Yeah, I've spent what feels like my entire life trying to learn how to defend people, how to protect as many lives as possible from what dangers 
I knew not. Right. And now, finally, the danger is upon us. And at every turn, I failed to act. I failed to see that action was needed. And I've left a trail it's not your of... fault, the one guy. I'm, I'm sure most, most of our party would agree. It may not be my fault, but it feels like my responsibility to clean it up at least. And I'm shaken at how easily the situation escaped me and continues to escape me. Yeah, things can get out of hand pretty easily. Don't I know that? It was good to have my brother back. Good to be back in your command. I see your uh, mystical arts have progressed quite a ways. Yeah, you could say that. It's, uh, it was a long road. Do you consider yourself now more of a, 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 a sorcerer than a, than a fighter? Or are you still, um, uh, are you still a, a, a blade wielder first? I'm still a blade wielder, but the, the, I do whatever the weaver wants. I'm more of a warlock. Ah, of course. Uh, forgive me, they, they, all seem, they all seem the same no, all... from where I'm standing. Well, the difference is, the difference is, you know, like I have free range of magic, but uh, I owe it all to somebody. I don't just owe it to myself. Uh, that's what the, that's what the pack's all about. I see. And you trust this being who gives you this power? The Weaver saved my life when I needed it, when I needed somebody the most. And, uh, yeah, I, I will do whatever they command. It's kind of like with you. I will follow you wherever you go. Well, if they have brought you to me, then they're all right in my book. Let us wait yeah. for the others. The sun is coming up. All right. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> so, uh, as all of you begin to wake, um, the early morning light is just kind of beginning to cascade through the branches of the trees, just illuminating the space in which you took rest for the evening and welcoming you to a, a new day of travel, seemingly. So... <laughs> Without further ado, uh, you guys all get up and get packed. Um, if there's any anything in particular that anybody wants to do before you guys start traveling, uh, let me know now. Or it's a speak now or forever hold your peace. I go ask uh, Father and Baru and Domino if they saw that great horned owl. <laughs> I did see, see the great owl. owl. You watch. The great owl with the mystical my with the mystical eyes surely exemplifies the beauty of nature. Well, it seemed like it was watching us. So let us hope we are we safe in its gaze. Let us make a mental note if we see it in the future. Perhaps there is more than meets the eye. Look at Father and Baro. Did you see it? I'm afraid my attention was occupied <laughs> elsewhere. <laughs> <laughs> On the watch. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> what were you occupied with? Sorry? What were you occupied with? My and why didn't you report it? Don't typically bird watch on my watch. I just happened to notice it. Unfortunately, <laughs> I saw no horned owl. Well, 
Okay. I lost my bird. One sec. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about your bird. It's been that long. <laughs> I was I was kind of secretly Plus hoping that he was going to be like, well, what did you see during your watch? He's like, I found a fucking beetle. <laughs> <laughs> no one's got to know. You just wanted just another chance to make your <laughs> pun. <laughs> I already made it. I'm just seeing an opportunity for... <laughs> Uh, <laughs> all right, uh, I'm gonna start picking up, uh, picking up camp and loading no. the wagon. Yeah, I've already, I've already packed up and got my stuff loaded. I'm helping Stu load potatoes. <laughs> Somehow they all spilled out of the bag of holding, and he's like, he at some point in the evening he may or may not have been talking to all of them. Like, Do. arranged kind of like a <laughs> Planet of the Apes sort of thing, where he just grunts at them, but receives no reply because they're potatoes. Stu, <laughs> I, I, I gave you this bag because it's, like, to keep them all together. Well, you yeah, understand? but I've got to let them, I gotta let them breathe. They, they can breathe in there. It's fine. I, I, they told me that they can't. I, I was, what am I supposed to take? Yours or this? You know what? That's a great point. <laughs> I just walk away before the conversation can continue. Like, I'm just imagining he's like, you know what? Just like drops the two potatoes that he's holding. He's like, do you, bro? <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't have. I don't have time for this shit. <laughs> oh, that bag's gonna get unenchanted one day. It's all no. good. All right, uh, so he packs up his 500 potatoes um, and then gets into the cart just obediently um, before you all begin your day of travel. So for this particular day of travel, can I have somebody roll me a d20? I will roll. Because what could possibly I would like to do wrong? a thing. You would like to do a thing then. Do the thing. Dice. And I will tell you what horrors, I mean adventure, awaits you. <laughs> well. Twelve? Okay. <laughs> We're dead. Can you do me a favor and roll me a d4, please? <laughs> Can I say no? No, you cannot. <laughs> How many liches seal our fate? <laughs> <laughs> I rolled a one. One. Okay. Oh. That is exactly how many we cannot take. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So as you um, begin making your way in the easterly direction that you guys have been uh, frequenting for the past whole entire day, because that is really how long you've been traveling in this direction, um, can everybody just kind of give me their passive perceptions just, you know, just, just for no reason whatsoever? Just Negative one. one. Your, your passive perception cannot be negative one. Well, it's a zero then. It would be nine. Well, no, 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 no. Your passive perception is is eight. Oh, plus, your, plus your wisdom modifier, plus your proficiency. If you're a, if you, are you sure it can't be a negative perception. one? Eight. I'm pretty sure it's at least eight. <laughs> oh, eight <laughs> minus my wisdom modifier in this case. Yes. Yes. Okay. And then are you proficient in? Certainly not. It's a seven. <laughs> yeah, that's a seven. Oh boy. Okay, still uh, more than negative one. Mine. So, is it though? <laughs> yes, I mean mathematically, absolutely, it is. <laughs> minus minus thirteen. Okay. Minus sixteen plus my perception modifier, my skill, whatever. Okay. Your passive. Sixteen plus your. No, my passive is thirteen. Okay. But, uh, but I'm also proficient in with perception. Okay, so but it says it's listed as 13 on your... Yes, yes, sorry. Okay, so it's 13. You're good. Okay, <laughs> Don't actually right. do it. It's just 13. Okay. <clears throat> uh, Domino, did I get one from you? 10. 10, okay. Imbaro? I rolled a number. No, passive perception. My number 
<laughs> that is a passive perception is 11. <laughs> our only, 11. Okay. Our only Ignore the fact that the character. brightness on my face changed. That's not me changing tabs. <laughs> Absolutely not. Nobody, nobody assumed that that was you changing tabs. Our, our this, only wisdom it's indicative of nothing. Is not what a bold today. and wild assumption that people are, are or aren't making. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, um, with that... Okay, uh, <clears throat> so, um, Vidius, Domino, and Imbaro. Oh no, not Imbaro, Baranthazar. Um, mm. All of you notice, um, just kind of waddling across the road, this little, this fat little white duck with these orange feet that's just like pitter-pattering around on the road. It's just like, eh, 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 eh. I thought you said fox at first. The duck. <laughs> it's a duck. <laughs> it's a duck. <laughs> the duck. I'm sorry, like, is this is coming us. from. Is this from me coming from like the collection of most unorthodox encounters in all of D and D? Duck. <laughs> They're formidable. This duck. I'm not denying. Evil I'd be more I worried mean, the cobra. I have a feeling that any collection of encounters that I create. Would absolutely be the list of most unorthodox encounters that you could possibly <laughs> encounter. The duck's gonna breathe lightning or something. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> so, fun question for all of you: As the duck bottles up um, to the lemonade stand, you don't have. Uh, <laughs> does anybody here speak Abyssal? Uh, you know, <laughs> I speak Infernal. I totally uh, should. For I'm reasons. A Minotaur. Don't worry about it. Would Minotaur be a I dialect do. of Abyssal? <laughs> I uh, do. That's actually a good question. That is a good question, actually. It's probably. <laughs> it's like. I have a feeling a lot of people are going to get mad at me about this, but it's like French and Italian. They are two entirely separate languages, but if you know enough of one, you can probably most assuredly stumble through the other. How dare you? The French you. and Quebecois, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh shame on God! So I speak abyssal. I will never cross blades with someone such as you. Hmm. Apparently, it's close abyssal. to ogre. Let's skip to the end here. <laughs> Parenthesis speaks, speaks abyssal. abyssal. We good. Okay. Yeah, before we get canceled so, by every everybody French else, <laughs> as everybody else sees this little duck just waddling around. <laughs> And it like flapping its little wings and wiggling its little tail, um, and like starts waddling over to the horses in the carriage. Um, Barenthazar, you hear a voice. It's like, oh please, someone please help me. My my children, I lost my children. Please, please help me. I look at the in duck. I, think, I look at everybody. I think <laughs> the duck is looking for its children. How? But it's not speaking <laughs> animal, it's speaking abyssal. Of course ah, it is. Yeah. I but, thought I recognized but, that. However, as someone who what, speaks abyssal, you would know hell? that all ducks, chickens, and geese inherently speak abyssal because they're the tiniest bit evil. I don't know. We are just riddled with technical difficulties tonight, uh, everybody. Yeah. I... I really hope my face doesn't look stupid. Oh, it does. <laughs> yeah. we, we all look kind of ridiculous now, I'm sure. Hello. A little Hel messy. Hello? Hello. Oh, yeah. Everything's <laughs> silly. Here. <laughs> this is that cool. doesn't make it better. But <laughs> so does the duck have, like, an accent? Or does abyssal just sound like quacking? Abyssal just sounds like quacking. Okay. In this particular dialect of abyssal just so happens to be duck but there we are again. but yes all ducks chickens and geese speak abyssal because all ducks chickens and geese are the tiniest bit evil oh, back. Well, that, that would make sense with the geese yes as i said when it approached <laughs> this, this duck has an evil countenance <laughs> <laughs> So um, she waddles up, and everybody else here is just like, wah, 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 wah. but, um, Barenthas, are you here? My children, my children, I've lost my children. Please help me find my babies. Hey, uh, it's, it, excuse me, where did you last see your children? I was, I was walking them through the forest, and they fell down a hole, and I can't fit. I'm too big. Please, 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 can you please go get my children? 
Oh, and all of you just hear like, and she's like flapping her wings, and like you can see feathers going everywhere. Please, please tell me I'm catching like every third word. <laughs> <laughs> you hear whole children, big. Something about. <laughs> I look at everybody. Um, this duck has lost her children, and she needs our help. No, 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 <laughs> no. We're not doing this. <laughs> what we... No. What was that about a hole? Midget pulls the crossbow off. He aims it at the duck. I've had it. No. Oh, the no, duck no, just no, like no. looks at you with these dark orbs, just like these innocent-looking eyes. It stops honking and just looks at you, like with these just. Big circular, eye, like big round eyes. You can see them water, like tearing up a tiny bit. I won't let him shoot the duck. We'll help. We'll have to shoot we'll the, help duck. the woodland creature. Hey, Stu, it goes, this it just hides though. behind her uh, Barenthazar, and you can hear one little <laughs> and everybody and Barenthazar, you hear that one's scary. Yeah, I know he's a good. He's got a temper. <laughs> Look at Fidget. Don't even deny it. You do. Even I think I'm with Fidget here. I'm gonna look angry. Why would I? Uh, Barinthazar. Uh, it's a duck. Did... <laughs> Can you ask if the duck understands us? Can you understand them? Yes. Yeah, she can understand you. She hears everything you're saying. Stare directly at Fidget. <laughs> okay. Wait, I look at the duck. I go. An entire city got murdered last week. And we're trying to save the world. So, I'm a little distracted right now. Well, she just, I like, mean, does this little head bob, and she's like, and I'm just trying to save my children, who fell down a deep, spooky hole. Can you please rescue my children? <laughs> <laughs> a little hiss. A little hiss in the I head. don't understand you. <laughs> well, then talk to the guy who understands. Like, the duck is just sassing him and duck, and he's like, I don't know what you're fucking saying. But, like... <laughs> The body language is definitely there. Marissa, where are where are her children? <laughs> They're in a dark, spooky hole the, that she can't fit down. Looking at Fidget, yours too might fit. Wait, she, she she can't fit. What does she, she fit in the, in the hole? Uh, how, I look at how the does duck, she expect us where to the hole fit is. in the hole? Okay, so the way. Hole. Lead the way. Show us where the hole is. All right. So she immediately flaps down off of the cart and then just starts waddling just like into the forest. I follow her. I follow her. <laughs> us paladins. <laughs> it's going to be, going to be our doom, but I know it. I'm staying on the wagon. I can okay. see that smile, Charlotte. Stew. What? <laughs> I, know your, uh, I know your gifts are more... Uh, uh, oriented towards potatoes, but we may need uh, a druid's touch for this. Sure. Yeah, totally. Okay. He just, like, hops down off the cart. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. And he goes and, like, grabs a bunch of potatoes and just stuffs them into his pockets. And he's <laughs> like, okay, we good. Yeah. And Lay down. I'll yeah. Hollow the duck. Okay, uh, so the duck just waddles through the forest, um, and as you guys are making your way into this forest, uh, there's definitely a lot of, like, old growth here. Um, it's particular. it's one of those forests where there's, like, a lot of moss and lichen, and uh, they just kind of, like, descend down from the tree branches, and you can see that there's a lot of, like, fungal growth and, um, like, detritus of fallen trees that are now just being just kind of taken over by other things and um as each of you uh are walking you can begin to hear the squelch of your boots just like sinking into the moss and you can see that there's like a a layer of moisture that's kind of either retained or just underneath the moss retained by or just underneath the moss um it doesn't make for hard walking or anything but it's uh it's definitely not a fun walk <laughs> it's <laughs> uh your boots get pretty wet um mm. But uh, she eventually leads you to, um, <clears throat> you can see that there's uh, this small area where the moss just kind of like, uh, it's a small like concave recess, sort of. Um, and you can see in the middle of it is just a small hole about um, maybe two inches wide. 
um, that just appears to go straight down, and she, like, just kind of starts... It's a mimic! ...squawking and, like, going around the hole. Just, like, looking down it and looking up at you, and then looking down at it and looking up at you, and, like, nibbling at the moss around the sides. Uh, but... Is this where they are? Yes, yes! My children, they how fell far, down uh, here! How, uh, please go get them! Please, please! How large is the hole? It's about two inches. That's right. I look I down at Stu. Down there. And I say to Stu, Are you able to transform into something that could fit there? Uh, yeah. Do you uh, think you? I don't. I don't. I. I don't think that me going down there by myself, mate, is the. Are you I'm able? I'm kind to... of scared of ducks. <laughs> You're what? I. I'm scared of ducks. He's particularly, particularly baby ones. <laughs> <laughs> I understand people. I appreciate scared of if all listen, I'd appreciate if all of you wouldn't snicker. It's not funny, right? I, I'm afraid of ducks. I am a grown man and I'm afraid of baby ducks, okay? This is a nice right? little grand quest we had I, going on for a while here. I appreciate <laughs> that you may be afraid of ducks. I merely ask that you overcome that fear in this instance, in order that you may then spend less time around the ducks. Uh, can I do something? But I don't want to spend any time around the ducks. Can I do all something? Right, see, listen, when I was a kid, all right, what they did was they took me and they Hold put me on. in a room. Hold on, Father Imbara okay? wanted to and say something. And then they put a little yellow fluffy duck in my hand, right? And then any time I showed any interest in the duck, I wanted to pet the duck, they'd make this really loud, startling noise, right? And then they put a little yellow pom-pom in my hand and made... And, and so I was afraid of just small, yellow, fuzzy things for, like, a really long... Maybe those but this is a white particularly duck. It's ill-behaved different. ducks. Do I have line of sight to the ducks? <laughs> Do you want to look down the hole, just like? <laughs> sure. Can I see the ducks? Uh, yeah. Give me your give me a perception check to see if you can. Uh, I look down the cast dark, light spooky hole, and I on a rock, and I drop the rock in the hole. Can I see okay. the ducks? Uh, <clears throat> so you cast it on the rock, and then drop it through the hole, and you hear the poop, right? But it's like this kind of thick sounding noise and as you look down you can see like this super muted version of the light because um you realize that there's like this viscous thick brown like algae slick water that just kind of fills the bottom of this small cavern that is actually at the bottom of this hole can i do like a survival check or something for this whole area because something ain't right absolutely go for it (laughs) we're in something so fucky around here (laughs) <laughs> That's a 16 on dis- survival. What, the what do I understand, is what what should I understand is about this swap? Beautiful. Uh, so, actually, with a survival check, um, you uh, pretty immediately realize oh, no, that this a is a an underground reservoir um, of some sort. Uh, but unfortunately, as a lot of the moss and the lichen began growing in this particular area, um, moss and lichen like, absorb and hold a lot of water. So, the natural reservoir, that this may have been a spring of some sort at some point, but unfortunately, all of the water, as the moss and the lichen started to grow, didn't gather there in the way that it did before. So now it's just kind of stagnant and useless, really, at this particular point. Um, So this was a well or a spring of, of natural causes of some sort, but now it's kind of just slog <laughs> and, um, but with your perception check you also realize that uh, this natural spring has like the hole is actually a lot larger than it looks um, if you look through you can see that there's actually a space that's wide enough for all of you to descend down into this area if you wanted to um, it has just been over like covered over with detritus and fallen sticks and, and stuff so it, it it was covered until one of her little baby ducks fell through an, it is it a natural like poisoning of the well or is it like a recent is it clearly like corruption that's that's affecting the ground or is it like just years? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
He rolled a survival check, not a um, <laughs> not a religion check. So. I will <laughs> attempt to <laughs> expand uh, the uh, aperture of this hole. Okay. I shall carefully begin pulling back on the twigs and the branches and the detritus and. The, the, okay. The, I'm gonna move yeah. So, um, as you as you pull all of the sticks away, realizing that this is uh, a it's a, a decently sized hole. Actually, it's about five feet all the way across. So, uh, most of you can like all of you can fit. It's just it might be a little bit tight for you, Bividius. But all of all of you can get down here if you want to. Are we really chasing ducks? No. To be yes. completely honest, no. The duck, like, immediately flies down, like, down into the hole, and you can hear the, like, shloop of it landing on that thick algae water, and it's just like, and, like, swims off down. All right, we've reunited the ducks. We did, we did it! Mission accomplished! <laughs> back to the oh, car! Seal the hole back up. <laughs> 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 The the stated issue was job, well, that we the hole wasn't big enough for the duck to fit in. Yep. Yep. Our mission you is complete. Uh, <laughs> Get out of here before anything else asks for our help. Is there a tree? Is there a tree nearby? There are many trees Why? nearby. Like the closest to the hole or the the cavern. Uh, well, yeah, like, there's a bunch of sticks and fallen logs and, like, trees within a close vicinity. What what exactly well, are you trying to do? I have 50 feet of rope. Oh, I would no. like to tie some rope around the closest tree as an anchor. I think, I around... think Domino has realized that baby ducks don't fly. <laughs> I'll tie it around my waist in case that is quicksand and start to descend into the hole with a torch. Okay. Uh, so you just kind of rappel down into this hole and, um, the sides of this particular hole are, like, slimy and slippery, and you're really glad that you used a rope instead of just trying to climb down here, because you definitely would have just fallen. Um, so as you, uh, as you just kind of slip slide down, and then, um, step down into this mucky, thick water, um, it's cold, and it's like it's got this about the same viscosity of like uh, molasses. It's a lot thicker than it looks, um, <laughs> and it smells like it stinks like like rotting vegetation down here. Um, if uh, if anybody's been to the dog park that's just north of Bradford, you will know this smell because yeah. the dog fucking rolled in it. <laughs> yeah. um, but yes, that just that thick like vegetating like like vegetation um mucky bog smell that is only that you can only find in like gross kind of stagnant sort of bogs so uh <clears throat> and it goes up to about your waist wow so just to be clear here fidget stayed at the cart and he's and getting now... quite impatient so i was gonna hope uh, i can roll an investigation check on the area and make sure nothing Absolutely. else is gonna screw with us great sure <laughs> What's what could possibly be wrong here? I'm oh, just let's describing find out. a duck Everything. and and a bog. That's a twelve. Uh, I mean, so they definitely they walked into the more boggy area. Everywhere around you seems fine. There's pretty trees. There's sunlight cascading down through the leaves. Like all of the fall colors are like very easy to see here. This is a really nice walk, actually. What about the like, duck tracks? The duck tracks go yeah. off into the forest, uh, followed by everybody else's tracks. Okay, they what about appear the to be before? duck tracks. Just little three toed flippers. Mm -hmm. Just flop, 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 flop. Did they come from the bog? Mm hmm. Okay. So everything checks out. So I'm just pacing, annoyed. <laughs> maybe. Just maybe. It's just a duck. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. It's never <laughs> just a duck. Sometimes a cigar is uh, just a cigar. Sometimes. Sometimes, guys, it's just a bottle opener. Okay? <laughs> no, it's a mimic. I it's think a mimic. The dog is a mimic. I think okay, the duck so, is a metaphor. In this context, Domino, though, have... it's never just a corkscrew. 
You have descended down into the large, wet, stinky hole. <laughs> Phrasing. Right, I, chose, I chose all short those sword. words on purpose. <laughs> I'll draw my short sword. All right. Um, do, how far can I see with the torch? So this little tunnel goes about 20 or so feet before it kind of dips sharply off to the left. And I see no ducks. You see no duck. I follow Domino down. Use the rope! I, well I use the rope. Okay. Ooh, how strong is this rope? Pretty strong. It's definitely, yeah. If okay. he's if he's on the, on the, the, if he's reached the floor and his weight isn't on it, then I'm not worried about adding my weight to it alone. I'd be concerned if we were all climbing on it at the same time. <laughs> Probably, yeah, but like... I'm waiting until okay. you get down there. He could call. Well, my guy, my character's 350 pounds, so... Damn, son. I'm, I'm, I'm more. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, I think we're around the same fucker. height. I'm, my character's 7 foot 6. Yeah. Mm. Wait, you're taller than me? Wow. Yeah, I'm wow. only 7 4. <laughs> squirrel, Jeez. you guys are following ducks right now. Not yeah, squirrels. Yeah, we're following. We're following <laughs> Domino right now. Okay. Domino, Domino is following the ducks. The Domino, we're making squirrels? sure he doesn't get ganked <laughs> okay. by some. So you guys are following pack. each other like some sort of woodland creature with webbed feet. I adventure. I will. Okay. Once I see my I companion, they more like the furry creatures that like to throw themselves off cliffs. Oh, that that also. Is yeah. A little, uh, yeah. <laughs> I will walk carefully. Shall we have a side step. minute with Charlotte and I explain how that actually happened? <laughs> how that all actually went down? You Let's guys want to know? Not. <laughs> Let's not. Okay. All right. Uh, <laughs> I, will keep, I will keep hold of the rope until the 50 feet end. Okay. Um, it's maybe, it's maybe a 20 foot drop. Um, so you've got a whole 30 feet of rope before you run out. Um you're definitely gonna want to wash that. It's like covered in that slippery, slimy, muddy, mucky algae slop. So Yum. yummy. <laughs> so you guys like are fully wading through this stuff, um, and you just kind of. Uh... So actually, really important question: What's the marching order here? So it's uh, Domino, and then Barbados, and then, then Barethazar. Yeah. Imbaro, do you uh, do you descend? I suppose. <laughs> I suppose. <laughs> okay, so it's gonna be all of you and then Stu. <coughs> um, because he will go down, just not by himself, because ducks are mm -hmm. terrifying, just baby ones. Um, so as all of you uh just kind of round the corner, you can hear like the the honking of of the duck, and then all the little like teep 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 of its little babies. Um, as all of you go around the corner and you can see that, uh, these, there's these six fuzzy little ducklings, um, just kind of happily swimming around their mother, just chittering away. And, um, I'm the only one who can understand it all. You're the only one who can understand all of them. So some of them are saying, mom, 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 oh my gosh, we came down here. We came down here and we sacrificed them to the dark one. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> You never talk to the abyssal duck. It's never just like. a duck. <laughs> it's a, mom, a duck. mom, he's going to rise, mom. We did it. Thank you for bringing offerings, mom. Mom, mom. You know what? I'm happy. But I'm all, glad all, we all, all of you here is yeah. cheat, 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 cheat. Does Barathazar translate any of this? Barathazar. Um, <laughs> or if you may want to get out of here. But it may be too late. Something called the Dark One is coming and we're, the, and we're apparently dinner. Or lunch, depending on the time frame. I oh, cast God. invisibility. Um... <laughs> <laughs> so all of you see the odd visage of of Imbaro disappearing. I'm but kidding, I don't have that spell. <laughs> but, uh, no, but ah, uh, uh, because the outline of him, like his legs and <laughs> butt in the mud, still would like. <laughs> <laughs> The cake is just making the outline. It's just, you can just see, like, the shape where his butt is, just, like, shaped out in the... <laughs> Am I within ten feet of the ducks? <laughs> uh, I'm glad you're having fun, Charlotte. 
<laughs> I'm having so much fun. I'm, I'm and, gonna attempt um, to kill. As all of you, as all of you start to look around, you realize mm. that there is a like a small. All of the root systems just kind of descend into this particular area, and um, on as all of you get actually, do you have a do you have a light source? Did I you pick up the rock? Yeah, I, the rock? I had the torch. You dropped the rock, though. Oh, yeah, you had a torch. Yeah, okay. So torch. as as Domino rounds the corner, and you get a little bit closer, because you can't understand what they're saying up until that point, um, there is a small, like, large... Uh, small, large... Fuck. Small boulder. There is a small... Large of a small boulder. Small... Fuck. There is a small... Shut up! That's cool. <laughs> There's a small hole in a large root that is descending from the ceiling, and inside there appears to have been, like, a nest of some sort, and you can see that there are tiny, like, body parts strewn about, um, there's, like, little bits of bloodied fur, and then tiny, tiny intestines just kind of draped on the whole root system down here, um, and, like, you can see that these little baby ducks have drawn teeny tiny, like, pentagrams in, in viscera, just, like, on the, on the, on the, on the, like, surrounding the entirety of this root in, like, a swirling sort of pattern, as they're just happily chirping, Mommy, Mommy, we summoned him, we summoned him, and now he shall feast! The happy fucking free friends. Can I attack these ducks? Absolutely, <laughs> you can. Cool. Uh, so the baby duck Illuminati have led you into a cavern. <laughs> this is, yeah. This is what I'm, I'm sitting there going, I should have went with fidget soup. Fidget with. To be fair, all of you, all of you, shot the fucking duck. Trust me, probably for a reason. <laughs> so. uh, a 14 and a 22, each aiming for a different duckling. Oh, you're just, just going to smash the ducklings? Okay. They're, of course, one. they're the ones that oh, I've yeah. just been informed but I'm the bad guy. Nice. about no, summoning the dark one. You're just, one what are you talking you're just about? murdering baby ducks. You don't know that they're summoning the dark one. I thought you said you translated that. I translate. Well, I said something. Yeah, you said we got to get out of here. Oh, the dark one is coming. We should no, get out of here. You it's didn't say anything about grams. the ducks being responsible. Ah, that is my mistake. This is uh, this in that is case, I don't viscera. attack the it's ducks. It's indicative of nothing. I prepare to attack the dark one. As okay. I recommend, we should go. Yeah, I don't think that I don't think we're getting out of here before it gets here. But let's try. The the mother duck looks like turns around in the water to look at all of you, and her babies just kind of flank her on either side. And she just, like, flaps her wings and wiggles her little tail, looking absolutely adorable as she says, you can try to run, if you like. I'd like to try and bite your head off. What did it say? What did it say? <laughs> that we can try to run. Okay, if we like. let's go. <laughs> yeah, all right. That just makes it more fun yeah. for them, though. We're gonna do initiative, or what do you want to do here? Or so I'm gonna cast a spell. Omenum protectum. I'll do protection from evil. Ten okay. foot radius. All right. I turned to Stu. So yeah, said, this, this like, is probably the point where you realize that these ducks are quite evil. <laughs> they're cute. They're fuzzy. They're little murder hobos. They're not good. They're bad ducks. <laughs> I, I turn to Stu and I tell him, I think you may get to kill the ducks. Honestly, with all these roots down here, if 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 Stu wants to earn a place in this party, he just kills everyone via the roots. <laughs> He's a druid, so one right? of the one of the little baby ducks swims up to Domino, and just like teep 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 teep, and it's wiggling its little just tiny little fuzzy yellow wings. And it's like sacrifice me so that he may come. Sacrifice me to the dark one and speed up his departure. Don't do it. Deep, deep, and I deep, go, deep, 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 deep. You said there was like a big root system, like one major root system. How far is that from where we're standing? About 10 feet. Can I go forward and light it on fire with the torch? Oh, you can certainly try. That's what I I'll try to and do. Die in the hole. I, I love the idea of you setting the whole root system on fire while you guys are in an underground hole. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, yes, I'm yes, walking yes. out of this place. He's just like backing out of this place. Like, nope. 
guys, don't worry. The moss should be damp enough that we asphyxiate first. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's Domino another thing I'm going to have to get put on a list for Googling. How rides. long does it take for someone to <laughs> die of smoke inhalation while stuck in a hole? <laughs> uh, okay, so, Domino, you go over and begin to light the root system on fire. Um, and it is surprisingly flammable for something that is about 20 feet underground in a, in a recess full of bog water. But yeah, it lights up eagerly eagerly that's good Time you can go. see like the 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 lights in the duck's eyes just like reflecting that reddish yellow hue as all of them just turn and look at the flames before they start chanting so only only 15 minutes of smoke will kill you <laughs> <laughs> all right guys we've got 10 minutes let's go let's go let's go and i start ushering we everybody deep, out the way we came <laughs> I'll take up the rear. So, as all of you flee uh, from this particular hole, I have one very specific science thing to inform all of you of. Um, ducks, or, or birds in particular, um, have very, 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 very bad lungs. They are very susceptible to smoke inhalation. Mm -hmm. There you go. You killed the duck. <laughs> so you can hear the chanting um well Barathazar is really the only one who hears the chanting just like kind of get ch choked off by these like hacking thick coughs um before all of the ducks just go silent as all of you like make your way to back towards the rope and like try to haul yourself tr like haul yourselves back up um out of this underground space we fucked up. Quacky nose. What? Quacky nose. Uh, roughly how far from the road are we? The ducks aren't here. Oh, uh, you guys are about sixty feet from the road. All right. Uh, I'll just uh, holler. Fidget. And hope that he hears me from the road. Can I roll to ignore? <laughs> yes! You can roll to hear first, and then you can choose to ignore. <laughs> okay, I will roll to ignore. Uh, yeah, okay, cool. Or, uh, I guess you can choose to fail! Oh, uh, well, no, I'll that's, roll. I'll, that's you uh, kind of rolling roll? to ignore. Do I roll perception? <laughs> yes. Oh my god, uh -huh. finally a perception roll I want to make. <laughs> <laughs> Good god. Uh, well, four, that's a four. Four. Yeah, you don't hear it. You're like picking flower, like petals off of a flower, like those fucking guys don't ever. I was thinking I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing like little mini cards with my homunculus. <laughs> don't miss. Oh, it just, just folds move. into the card that it I'm wants to be <laughs> I'm just climbing out of the hole like the wife of that old like IKEA commercial. Start the car! Start the car! <laughs> so all of you, um, pull yourselves up out of this hole, just covered from like pretty much the waist down, the majority of you, in just this thick, stinky mud. Um, oh, before you all stop for a second and just catch your breath, like, like list, like looking at the smoke that is just pouring up out of this hole at this point. Um, Do I notice you guys the smoke? What is the smoke? Domino Do I lit the... the smoke. You yes, actually, you would notice the smoke. <laughs> you yeah. can choose to ignore that. <laughs> yeah, I see that, and I'm just I'm like, like. Do you have right. any fives? <laughs> <laughs> Start the car. Oh, look at that. Yeah, I like shift over to the driver's seat and grab the reins. I'm like, okay. <laughs> um. Quickly, so everyone, get to the cart. Get to the cart. We can get out of here. And um, so all of you stop for a split second to watch this pillar of smoke rising up out of this recess in the- Yeah, no, fuck you, you're in a cutscene now. <laughs> you have triggered! Spam no Y! Spam Y to skip! <laughs> no, no, no! no that um, cutscene! So, you guys begin to hear the sound of something else climbing up. And you see this- 
medium-sized form just like rise up inside the plume of smoke so the first thing you see are these two large horns just kind of looping up and then back down onto themselves um this goat shaped head and then this human like torso and arms just just the outline of it um before the the feet end in what appear to be hooves and as this thing steps forwards out of the smoke, you guys can see that it does indeed have a goat-shaped head, a human-like torso, like this greasy-looking loincloth, and then these, uh, these, not fuzzy, but like, uh, sh- legs that are covered in goat hair. <laughs> um, but the, the most important thing that you guys realize is as this thing comes up out of the hole, you guys can smell this thing, really, before you even see it. It smells putrid just like a combination of rotting meat and and vegetation and just anything that is natural but all of it is rotten and this the smell is just exuding (laughs) off of this thing as it steps out of the smoke and you can see that all of the skin under its fur like across its bare torso is just covered and like these red, yellow, and green pustules that are just constantly leaking bile and, and and liquid as it steps forwards and raises its head looking at you with these glowing red eyes. Oh, and we'll see how far we get into initiative. Can everybody roll initiative for me, please? <laughs> so it's Red Rover? 12. God, it is my ex-wife. <laughs> Seventeen. Fifteen. Thirteen. Guys, yelling numbers at me doesn't do anything. You know that. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. <laughs> That's just. You could say as many numbers as you want, but I'm not ready. So like. That's all chill. I was doing. Chill. <laughs> I right. just wanted to yell numbers. Good. Well, that doesn't matter because I'm gonna make you fucking say it again anyways. Cause I didn't ask for any numbers yet, you. Fuckers. All right, so Wait, 20 I'm... to 25. Nobody. Cool. What? <laughs> Actually, I need to roll initiative for this freaking thing, so hold up. This is why you guys don't yell numbers at me, because then I get distracted, <laughs> and I don't do things that I'm supposed to do. Like, roll initiative for things. Like. Why? Why is it not letting me click on this token? There we go. <laughs> okay. Oh! Vidius, why are you in here twice? Which one did you roll first? What? I only clicked one initiative roll. Should be a 15. I've got you in here as a 9 and a... Okay. I see that's what happened. Not me, that's the other I see what cow happened. Guy. All right, that's the <laughs> other cow guy. The other one. Uh huh. Who you oh, absolutely boy. know? I'm I'm gonna call Gary from the block. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so got almost everybody. Oh, we've got everybody. Yeah, sweet. All right. Sending. Oh no! Wait, Stu. Where the fuck is Stu? Stu, come here. Because he's there. I mean, he could decline to fight and flee. I, this isn't a duck. Alright, so descending order. Alright. Uh, Domino, Brothazar, Bravidius, Monster, Dr. Tuber, Rendell's not here. Fidget. Alright, I think that's... Am I missing anyone? Mbaro, do I have one for you? Yeah, Mbaro. Well. Okay, and turn, you got a 12. Chicka, chicka, chicka. Okay. Come here. Now we put it in descending. There we go. All right, atop the initiative is Domino. Sweet. I will banish you. So as this you. thing's... You can certainly try. I will banish you back to the endless pits of the abyss from which you came, foul beast. All right, we're looking at a modified 17 and a natural one. Oh, boy. So these Damn. are both melee attacks, yeah? Yes. 
Okay. Two. Okay. So for the natural one, I need you to roll me a d hundred. Please and thank you. This is a great time for our paladin to critical fail. Yeah. Yep. Right. That would be a fifty-five. Please hold. Fifty-five. 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 That was a fifty-five. That's a fun one. Oh, no. Okay, so go ahead and give me the give me the damage on uh, the first one first, and then we will go into your critical fail, good sir. All right, there's 16 points of damage. Dang. Nice hit. That definitely yeah, that hurts. Good hit. Was there a divine, a divine smite on that one? He's only I mean... supposed to smite when he crits. He's a paladin, remember? Uh, yeah. This is true. I'm just surprised he got up to 16 there. That's a good hit. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Uh, so, um, you swing it at once and just cut across the chest. Um, and then kind of recoil backwards as you realize as you cut into this thing, like there's a layer of just bile and slime that just begins to like leak and pour out of this thing just releasing this fetid stench that all of you are now going to have to uh deal with because oh, this no. monster is super fun so um i need you to make a constitution saving throw first first that's nice <laughs> Yeah. Okay, I rolled and then an 18. I'm going to tell you. My constitution is 10. You rolled an 18? Yes. Okay. Um so you do succeed. Um so you can feel this like the smell just like burning the inside of your nose, but it doesn't have any detrimental effects yet. However, as you kind of recoil backwards, um you can see that uh out of the the pillar of smoke um, it begins to, like, move something behind it, and you can see that it has this long whip-like tail with a barb on the end of it. And as you pull backwards, it sees an opportunity and slashes at you with it. So it is going to make an attack against you. Hit you. <laughs> I'm gonna go with no. <laughs> gotta ask does an eight uh, uh, does does Nate hit you any, any? no all right so i didn't <laughs> think so um so you see this barbed tail just coming at you and you're like Haw! and like use your shield and just kind of bat it out of the way and you can see that um like the lip kind of curls up into the snarl of irritation um but yeah it's uh luckily your critical failure didn't cost you anything because I rolled like shit. So, <laughs> uh, next in the initiative is Barenthazar. Barenthazar, can you make me a constitution saving throw, please? I sure can. Yes. 19. 19? Okay. You are also, uh, fine. But, um, it's definitely, like, this thick, rotting stench that fills the air, um, which is potentially going to be problematic to some of you, but I'll yeah. be rolling really freaking high. So, <laughs> uh, go, you can go ahead and take your turn. All right. I'm going to cast Eldritch Blast. Eldritch Blast. Okay, absolutely. Oh, that's a critical fail. <laughs> no, what's <laughs> up with this? 100! <laughs> 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 So let me roll my second second shot first, and okay. then we'll we'll deal with that. Well, I mean, actually, no. Roll me the d hundred first because this this might have yeah. detrimental effects that yeah. affect you your die. next attack. So seventy five. The fumble chart is a cruel mistress. Oh, well, the fumble chart is indeed a cruel mistress with a seventy five. The oh, fumble no. chart. <laughs> I like fumbles. So, I'm not entirely sure how to flavor this. Oh, no. <laughs> but we'll find out. Uh, so, you go to uh, just throw your hand forward in order to cast your Eldritch Blast. 
And unfortunately, what happens is all of the moss that is like dangling down and you can like, as you stick your hand into them, you realize that there's also like intertwining vines just kind of hidden by the moss. So you go to just kind of poke your hand through it and realize that like it begins to gnarl and like twist around your hand and you are stuck. Your hand is fucking stuck. Um, so you need to make a DC 14 strength check to remove it as an action. Your hand is stuck. So you do have two hands, so you can shoot another Ultra Blast, but your speed <clears throat> is basically zero right now, because um, you're, you're, you're going to suck. That 17, is hilarious. <laughs> 13 plus 4, so... For the second Ultra Blast? No, for the... to get my hand free. Nope, that is your entire action. You cannot do that. Yeah, you have to do that next turn. Oh. My Ultra Blast is a cantrip. No, no, but you get two beams, remember. Oh, okay. Once you hit level five, you get to cast two. So yeah, all right, all right. So I guess yeah, that was for my Your first one. I can't yeah. use it for the other one. All right, uh, thirteen. Uh, thirteen unfortunately misses. All right. So you're like your hand is snagged. You're like oh fuck, and like go shoot another one out of your other hand. But that one's your off hand. <laughs> you know, it's like trying to kick a soccer ball with your left foot instead of your right. Like, fuck, I kicked it, but yeah, I totally missed the goal, man. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. So just kind I, of careens off I, into I, the jungle somewhere, like, pff, it's gone. Uh, so is that your turn? That is my turn. That felt incredibly mean on my part, but hey, <laughs> well, sometimes you know, that's what I get the dice giveth and the dice taketh, absolutely. Uh, so, da -da -da, next in the turn order is Bavidius. Okay. You want to roll a natural one too, just to keep the ball oh, rolling. Actually, can you roll me a constitution? Can you roll me a constitution saving throw before you do anything? I can. Um, it, let, let's see here. That is a fourteen. That just saves. Nice. Uh, it, the uh, the effect, uh, this odorous effect, does it appear to be affecting people regardless of how far away from the the beast they are? Sort of, kind of. Okay. At the very least, I mean, it, it affected Barenthazar, uh, or at least he, he seemed to struggle with it, and he's further mm -hmm. away than I am. Mm-hmm. Okay. So what I was thinking will not apply. I'm going to move into a flanking position so that Domino and I will both have advantage with each other. Uh, and so I circle around, uh, and as I'm looking over the sky, I'm like, Damn, this is what my parents warned me about. Don't do drugs, kids. <laughs> right? <laughs> We're just standing there like, this is your abyssal uh, half-man, half-animal creature. This is your abyssal half-man, half-animal creature on drugs. <laughs> uh, and so I look at him and I'm like, Gary from the block. I'm sorry, it has to end this way. And I will... Did you just name him Gary? <laughs> Gary from the block. <laughs> and, from the block. Yeah. Just gonna... roll your attacks, bro! I'm, I'm <laughs> taking two attacks with the wind lance, just a, oh, a quick uh, a quick X-shaped hack and slash here with advantage. The, the first one... Did it send? Didn't send. First one is a natural 20. Oh, nice. The second one, since it wasn't sending with advantage for some reason, uh, is a 19. Nice. Okay, I see a hits. 19 and a 9. That was rolling with advantage. Uh, hang on. I'm going to show you. Uh, I'm, I'm going to put a picture of the other roll, the other advantage roll, because I'm flanking with Domino, so we get advantage. Mm-hmm. I will put a picture of the other roll that for some reason did not send. I'm going to put that in the Discord so you know I'm not fucking around. It was a 7 and a 20 and a 19 and a 9 uh, on the other. Anyways, I, I can show you that later. It's a crit. There's, yeah, it's like, I can't see it, so unfortunately that's kind of... That's okay. That's fine. I'll just roll it again. It's fine. 
Uh, so uh, 19 and a 9 on the first one. And 20, so 19 and 21 are the two rolls to attack. Those both hit, yeah. Okay. Uh, so that is 13 damage and 11 damage slashing. So just two heavy cuts in an X pattern. Uh, one, bring it up around, two, going right through them. Okay, absolutely. So again, as you cut into this thing, it just leaks like this thick stinky bile um out of like the slashes that you make into it and it like as you cut deeper um it shifts from like a yellowish green to like just thick brownish black this thing is absolutely disgusting and i'm gonna do some really quick math here one second yeah okay cool uh that is your turn um, yes, uh, with a bonus action, I can do hammering horns, I think. Oh, no, because I would just shove it into Domino, so never mind. Um, bonus action. I was action. like, yeah, no, go for it, go for it, do it, do it, do it. Bonus <laughs> action, nothing to do, Okay. and I'll let that stand for now. Okay, yeah, Father and Borrow, that makes your turn. Well, I suppose that we'll just go ahead and... Do I need to make any sort of constitution save or anything before I do Yes. That? Please do. So I'm just going to make one of them. I assume I pass with an 18. Sick. And then we will move on to... <clears throat> let's, go, let's go with the good old Mind Slitter. I like that spell. So if the creature could make a save for me of the intelligence variety, please. Okay. With a DC of... 10. 15. You fail. So uh, <laughs> the creature will take... I am level 5, so 2d6 damages. So we'll roll that. Neat moop. Uh, it is, in fact... Psychic damage. It takes ten of those. Okay. It ten takes the, ten psychic damage. Ten to the noggin. Okay. And then uh, the next saving throw that it makes, it makes at a penalty of one. I did it. Yay! <laughs> uh, the bird will move in to distract, so the next attack gets advantage. And then Imbaru will place himself about 30 feet f fucking that way. It's away somewhere. Okay, it's five. Away. Behind a tree or a rock. A bush is nice. Places where beetles are. There. <laughs> okay. So you want to be 30 feet this thing? Yeah, that sounds good right there. Okay. I'm cozy um, in the rock pile. So you see this thing flinch and like recoil as if um, it's been stung by a bee, sort of. Like, it got stung in the nose by a bee. But, Mbaru, you know that you hurt its brain rather than its body. Um, so that definitely seemed to have an effect. Um, is that your turn? That is indeed. All right. That makes it my turn. Mwahaha. All right. <sighs> Let's see. Let's see. What do we want to do? What are we doing? What are we doing? Let's attack. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. So, mm. and fifteen. I can jump, right? Oh, you're not here. Stop. All right. Do do do. Boing. All right. Can both of you, uh, Bavidia and Domino? Make a an attack of opportunity as it just like crouches slightly and then launches itself into the air. Uh, do we both have advantage on this attack? I'm gonna go with no because it's jumping. Okay. The first person would have advantage from birth. Because in order for it to leave your melee, it's going up. So like, I'm gonna sure. go with no. You don't get flanking in this particular instance. I rolled another one. Oh no! Oh, me too. 
What the on. shit? <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. <laughs> I should have killed the oh, dog. Oh, shit. <laughs> Fish is just sitting there like, I'm gonna fucking kill these people. <laughs> I should have killed the duck. Can I get 2d100 rolls, please? Yeah, you should have killed the I duck. Should've, you, I should have let you, you kill were, the duck. You were entirely correct. You should have killed the duck. <laughs> Perfectly justified in my so, unjustified murder. It's funny, because now I'm gonna, some, sometime down the line, I'm gonna introduce a perfectly normal duck, and all of you are gonna be like, kill him with fire! Yep. <laughs> We're gonna and have Finn, it'll be the one who goes, no, no, it's a regular duck. It's a regular duck. <laughs> How do you know? Well, we're in a town for one. All right, can I get 2D100 rules, please? <coughs> oh, yeah, I have to do one of those. Yep. <laughs> 95. That can't be good. Oh, I think it gets worse the higher the number. The higher it goes, the worse it gets. Yeah, that sucks. I think 100 is like spontaneous combustion. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, so, what did you get, Domino? 78. Okay, so, um, Vidius, you immediately try to cut this thing, like, cut down into this thing, um, as it just, like, immediately just leaps away from both of you. Um, <laughs> So what happens is you try to cut into it and just like nick it, one of its cloven hooves just in the right where it like kind of ricochets and the blade goes just careening in a direction you weren't ready for. And that direction is your own thigh. <sighs> so your attack ricochets back and you hit yourself. Roll your damage as if you'd hit your target and apply it to yourself. Great. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Great. Good. Damage. So Domino. Um, you, you, uh, kind of just move yourself into the path of that little, that barbed tail. And unfortunately, it takes the opportunity and, like, flicks it in the direction of your face. So I'm gonna make yet another attack against you. Because this seems like fun. Does a 20 hit you? Uh, is it a natural 20? No, it is a dirty 20. Okay, so I have protection from evil on. It should be minus 2. Which would make it 18, and okay. it needs a 19 to hit me. Uh, <laughs> All right. Yeah, dude. <laughs> so, again, it tries to just flick its tail in your direction, um, just given the opportunity to do so. And you are, again, are like, no, fuck off, evil thing. Ah, <laughs> be gone. <laughs> and it's like, okay, I'm going to go no, attack this dude off. who is basically grappled kind of right now, sort of, maybe. I don't know. Let's find out. Hey, Baranthazar, how you doing, buddy? Parenthesar? Bueller? Boing. That's a 22. Does a 22 hit you, Parenthesar? Parenthesar? Bueller? 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 I'm trying to kill you. You might want to be present for this. Oi. Parenthesar. Okay. Yep. 22 sounds like it hits. Yeah, that definitely it, hits, it but unfortunately hits, there's yeah. other there are other things that happen along with that, and I kind of need that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I see his face right. lighting oh. up. I see his face flickering. Yes. Hey. hey! So I hit you. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. Alright, so... Um, <laughs> You were going to eight, for? eight points of piercing damage, and I need you to make a constitution saving throw, please. Alright, hold on, let me just do that damage. Right. So... Eleven. So. Mm. It stabs into like the back of your shoulder with this barbed tail and you can immediately feel like this oof, oof, yeah. as like this not necessarily poison but you begin to feel this burning sensation as you realize what is a fever begins to just crawl across your skin and oh. um everybody else gets the wonderful view of all of his skin beginning to like 
um, like all of the veins turn black as these pustules and boils just begin to erupt all over your exposed skin. Um, as it like your uh, pieces of your skin begin to rot and just like flake off of you. Um, and if you open your mouth at any point to to voice your opinion of this particular state that you are now in, a cloud of flies erupts from your throat. Oh! Oh! That's rank. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure I'm okay with that. <laughs> <laughs> that is its turn. Uh, okay. Da -da -da. That makes it Stu's turn. So, Brunthazar, <laughs> do you say anything or try to, I guess? I, I, I just open my mouth to just yell because of the pain. That's that's horrifying. So he, <laughs> his voice erupts with this cry of pain and just this cloud of flies, just like flies directly out of his mouth, just scattering off in different directions. <laughs> <laughs> Before Stu, holding the potato, is like, nah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, mate. No. No, no. That's no. <laughs> Absolutely not. Um, he's going to back up. <laughs> uh, before I check quickly if he has anything ranged that he can use. Because, like... Moonbeam. Absolutely not. I don't have Moonbeam on the sheet, so... Do you want me to cast it for you? Suck. suck. No, I don't. <laughs> I want you to put it on the sheet like I asked you to. Alright. Uh... <laughs> I don't have access to it. The blip. Like, to I, don't spell, not the I don't know what to tell you. Alright. Uh, so yeah, he's gonna be like, nope, uh, nope. So much nope. Nope, 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 nope. Uh-uh, no. That's... Nope. Fidget, that makes it your turn. Uh, got any fours? Got any what? I'm oh. <laughs> the homunculus just shakes his little. <laughs> I don't know where I like. I, I wanted to figure out positioning. Um, You're about sixty feet away, so you can definitely the... hear Barenthazar's shriek of pain, which then kind of morphs into one of absolute horror. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> Yeah. Um, so I'm uh, I'm assuming I'm somewhere near Rendell, right? Yeah, I'm, so I'm just assuming you guys left Rendell just chilling in the cart. Yeah, so I'm somewhere near Rendell. Um, yeah. Uh, I mean, you're really about like here, honestly. Okay. Okay. Cool. So if you uh, have run, you can probably <laughs> you can probably get there. Should have killed that fucking duck. I get Should've up. Killed that fucking duck. I'm not gonna run, but I'm gonna start walking towards. He's them. gonna. <laughs> He's pissed. gonna make a point of walking. So as Fidget just kind of begrudgingly puts down his cards, hops off of the cart, and starts walking uh, towards this horrific scene that is unfolding. Uh, that is actually where we're going to end the session for tonight. As we get to the bottom of the turn order. And we will pick up from there uh, the next time we come back. So, uh, we apologize deeply for the uh, the technical difficulties that rendered us mute earlier. Um, we had no idea. We apologize. Um, but hey, the show must again. go on. <laughs> I'm sure everybody will enjoy watching us talk to each other and trying to discern what the fuck we were talking about. <laughs> Apparently, the stupid ad read turned out fine, though. So, you can still hear me read the ad like Stu as an idiot. So, um... Thank you again to D&D Beyond and FX May Vary. Make sure you check out our Patreon. Make sure you check out our merch page. Um, as Stu pretty adamantly told all of you. Um, we're going to mail some people some tater tots. So, <laughs> um, And uh, yeah, that's uh, that's about it. Does anybody else does anybody have any shows coming up before we... Nope. nope. Right now, Mute Sounds is working on a new album. So uh, once we have that the recording on the way then we'll start booking new shows but right now we're off the road i'm working on uh letter from jack we're hopefully going to be doing some gigs in the summer nice okay the spell is working on grant proposals 
for a theatrical musical. Oh, nice. Nice. That's exciting. very exciting. That's sick. Uh, and uh, effects may vary. Uh, our, our next show is coming up uh, uh, on 420 uh, in Newmarket at the Ten Gallon Bar and Grill. Uh, so I will be there. Hells yeah. Smoke them if you got them. We'll look forward to seeing people there. Okay. And uh, with that, we wish all of you a fantastic evening and thank all of you for being here. If you're still here at the very end, you're one of the real ones. We appreciate you the most. And um, we will see all of you in a few weeks and have a good evening. Uh, don't forget to thank the Patreons. I'm oh, yeah. and... not oh, sure I if we're still Mama... supposed to thank I... Mama Bear. Thank you, Mama Bear. I wasn't. Uh, okay. Thanks. I... I wasn't actually. I wasn't also told it's not to. It's been a hot minute. <laughs> so, just in case, thanks, Mama Bear. Um, <laughs> if you're still continuing to support the Patreon, I don't actually know. I have to ask. Um, but yeah, we're gonna show you one anyways. Cause fuck it. <laughs> now can we wish them a good yes. evening, Kyle? Yes. Have I done all of the stuff that I'm supposed to so. say? The obligatory so. fucking sure. whole script that I gotta go through. We good? Can I bid all of these people a good evening? We good. Have a good evening, guys. I think Steve's already asleep. We gotta cut. We gotta cut. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, did. I I did my best. <laughs> Thanks everyone. Good night. Good night. Peace. Are we not off yet? <laughs> <laughs>